say where we are. We are at Fountain Blue State Park on Lake Pontchartrain. I call it Lake Pontchartrain. She also <laughs> says other words wrong. What was that? Turn left onto Chapatula Street. No, 2 g Cause we're classy. I'm Casey and I'm Lana and we are Class C Broads. Today is our second episode about our stay in Louisiana and you won't want to miss our first episode where we go on a swamp tour and also bike the Tammany Trace Trail and visit several breweries. We found a wonderful park called Found Blue State Park just randomly searching for parks on the internet and we are glad we did. It is a beautiful park, it's 2,800 acres and it used to be the site of a sugar mill. The park is located right by Mandeville, which is a city named after a French guy with a really long name that ends in Mandeville, and he was once the owner of Fountain Blue State Park. The land that the park sits on does have somewhat of a checkered history. It was once the site of a plantation and a sugar mill. And unfortunately, in the South, that meant that much of the labor needed to run it was performed by slave labor. The park does a pretty good job of acknowledging its past through some signage and, and plaques. It was a little sobering at times to read about. We didn't use all of the amenities at the park, but we did take advantage of their trail system. They had some interconnecting trails, and one of those led to a boardwalk that overlooked a marsh with gators. And we did see quite a few gators there. Uh, you had to have pretty good eyes, but they were definitely there. And then there were some random plops in the water <laughs> where we spotted what we think was a beaver. I'm not sure, but it was scary. Could have been a bear. I don't know. I think it, I think it was it's definitely bear. bears. a bear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure.
They're right in front of me. See it? Gator. Yep, I see it. He's tiny. supposed to be eaten. I wonder how big he is, like how much is out and how much is... Well, they said whatever you see is there's four times. So he's a big one. Yeah. What do we want to talk about? Well, gators. We saw some gators this morning. We <laughs> saw two and a beaver. And a beaver. And so we're going back out on the trail at about five o'clock tonight to see if we can see them again. Maybe they've been laying in the sun all day long. Yeah, gators. Here come people, so we gotta shut it off. Yeah. Oh, here we go, we're on the boardwalk now. <laughs> she needs to tell you this. In case you don't see the change in the... Yeah. Watch out, gators. Now we missed one because we were too noisy earlier. So yeah. we got to sneak up on this one gator. Right. His name is... You got to keep your eyes Pete. peeled. His name is not Pete. Sneaky Pete. We're going to go find him on the right. Yeah. On the right? The one that snuck away that you got you scared oh, I don't think that was a gator be like what am I filming gator there's a gator right in front of my face and I missed it so we are at Lake Pontchartrain at Fountain Blue State Park in Louisiana and it's an absolutely beautiful sunset and it's more than just pretty there are actually things to do there it's located on Lake Pontchartrain Right, you've got the beach, you've got the sugar mill, you've got a kayaking area, the nature trails, the boardwalk, and of course the Tammany Trace Trail where we rode our bikes a couple of days, uh, not just into Mandeville, but all the way up to uh, Covington and the location of the park and its access to the trail uh, just makes it a, a phenomenal place to stay. There are two campgrounds and well there's more than two campgrounds. There are two campgrounds for campers and then there's like glamping campground and I think an executive campground as well. There are also some really cool uh, cabins that are, uh, what do you call that, cantilevered over the water? Yeah, cantilevered. Cantilevered? Cantilevered. <laughs> <laughs> over the water that you can rent. So there, it has a lot to offer. There are pavilions that you can rent out for. We saw a bunch of birthday parties and even like a baby shower there. Fountain Blue State Park is located relatively close to New Orleans, so one day we headed out to the Big Easy. And the start of the causeway is located in Mandeville, and it is the longest continuous bridge over a body of water. The causeway is a civil engineer's dream. It's actually two bridges because there's a northbound bridge and a southbound bridge. 
although they're connected such that you can actually cross or turn around at designated points along the causeway. There's even pullover lanes. Mile marker 10 on the causeway, still driving. It looks like an ocean. Again, super amazing. Got an issue. There's an emergency right here, emergency. Emergency. Well, it just looks like two cops talking to each other. Yeah, but you know what? I love the fact that there are these little pullover areas on this oh. bridge. Oh, well. Somebody in trouble. When we got to New Orleans, the first place we wanted to check out was the French market. And of course, Casey wanted to get a little something for her tummy. We went to Cafe du Monde so I could get some beignets. They were not made to order, so it was a little disappointing. It was the cash only, and maybe that's the way it always is, but everything was already pre-done, so I was a little disappointed. I think your favorite beignets were at Mobe Beignet in Mobile, and you'll have to check out our Mobile video to learn more about that. Yeah, I don't know that it was a fair test because of COVID. I probably have to go back. Yeah, you better go back and make sure. Yeah. We walked around the French market a little bit more, as well as Jackson Square, doing just sort of touristy things. And it was, you know, rainy out, which didn't exactly make the day a great experience. And at some point, I managed to lose something very important. Land fell down fell down and I hurt my elbow because she, she can't walk and, and I broke them. and I broke my glasses she didn't break her glasses well my glasses band she fell lost off. her glasses I lost them and Casey found them of course after the Lana loses her glasses fiasco uh, it was time for something to put us in better spirits. What better than beer and food? We're going to the parking. What are we doing, Casey? Oh my. Well, we're not off roading. <laughs> Why are you doing uh, Because I don't know what you're doing and I'm just, this is chaos to me, chaos. We're literally by the tracks in New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Look. To, oh. Oh, you're good, girl. You're good. Bazam. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get this guy. What you eating, now, little buddy? What you eating on? We had some really good beers and some really good tacos. The beers included a three-day weekend hibiscus lime, which was interesting, as well as a coffee break stout that I thought was pretty good. And the food window, there was, I think, a separate company entity called Avo Taco, and we had some really good uh, street tacos. So overall, you know, thumbs up as far, as far as the beer and food goes at Port Orleans. And the venue itself was good. The front opened up, so it was kind of an indoor outdoor setting. And then they also had a dedicated outdoor space as well. We couldn't really make use of the outdoor space because it was cold and rainy that day. Head north on Milan Street Tushy towards Chapatula Street, then turn left onto Chapatula Street. No, Tucci Choo. So we just left Port New Orleans Brewery. No. New Orleans Port? What's it called? Port Orleans. Port Orleans. 
and there is a street called Chapatulas. But it's the, called two G two. But the T is silent. Google's gonna tell it. Yeah. Chapatulas. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Watch this. Take the next left onto Chapatula Street. Tucci two. Tucci two. Chapatulas. Hang on there, buddy. With our spirits lifted, we decided to go back and check out Louis Armstrong Park. <laughs> Since it was still raining, we decided we needed to dry off and headed to another brewery. Yay! That was our plan all along, was yeah. to, to go there, but the rain was a good excuse to go to another brewery. Get wet and cranky, go have a beer, get happy, get wet and cranky, go to a brewery, have another beer, get happy. You see the pattern. We headed to Urban South, which also has a really good indoor space. I didn't really see, it had an outdoor space, but I don't think it was quite as large as the indoor space. The indoor space was kind of what made this location. Look at the, oh yeah, this is the one with the little trailer. How cute. How cute. Oh, it's adorable. And they have a lot of, um, different flavors. We fell in love with the cucumber lime sour and took not just one but two six packs home with us. We liked it that much. <laughs> back to Fountain Blue State Park I had one more place that I wanted to go and that was Dixie Brewing. I recently saw a documentary on the history of beer and Dixie was mentioned as one of the oldest breweries so I wanted to check it out for myself. Upstairs they have a history museum and they were able to salvage some really cool old stuff from Hurricane Katrina so that was really neat to see. The brewery started in 1907 and I think is the oldest brewery in Louisiana. There were four big breweries back in the day, Dixie, Falstaff, Jackson or Jax as they like to call it, and Regal. Dixie was devastated by Hurricane Katrina and afterwards they had to contract brew a lot of their beer out of state for a long period of time until they made this new facility. The brewery was recently purchased by the owners of one of the local professional sports teams and then underwent a name rebranding to Faubourg in 2020, right around the same time that other companies like Uncle Ben's and Aunt Jemima were redoing the same. They are a harvest host site and they have a large 
a venue outdoor space and they have a kitchen as well you should check if you're if you're in the area you should definitely check out what's going on at Dixie and it is worth a stop okay. so we're leaving Dixie and I asked for a to-go cup for Lana and they gave us one because we're in the great state of Louisiana and you can have your beer to go Cheers. amen it was finally warmer at home than it was in Louisiana, so it was time to head back. Our 10-day trip to Pensacola morphed into, you know, several days in the Mobile area. Then we spent a week or so down in Mississippi at Buccaneer State Park, and then several days in fountain blue state park so at this point we're starting to feel like real rvers with the highlights being 25 of the best breweries you can see in 30 days no jacks a dead jeep and four filthy dogs <laughs> uh, we were all ready to get home but we're excited to get out on the road again so we hope to see you on the road, and in the meantime, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay, stay classy. classy. What's this? Free stuff. Oh, it's vanilla. Look, put that in your We like the Gator Trail so much, we went down and got to a dog. it and got a dog, which just makes good gator food. Mm, gator bait. Punch train. In Louisiana. Louisiana. I'm just going to say words in a weird way because I like to. We saw two gators and a beaver today. It's a pretty good day. <laughs> I don't like it when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, uh, Clarice. It, it, it didn't feel like we were just driving over an ocean. Because every body of water is an ocean. Yes, big body of the water. Ocean. Gator! Amazing. That's all I'm saying. Amazing. Spread all the lake. Gators. There are no gators out there. There are gators in the lake. There are gators at the edge of the lake. There are no gators swimming in the lake. 500 foot water, deep water. We even broke down a few times. That's <laughs> that's what we felt like real <laughs> RVs. <That's> true. <laughs> uh.